Hello everyone! Welcome to the second episode of the Alpha 7S 3 Hands-On Review Series. My name is Nico Valenzuela and I will be your host for today. On our first episode, commercial videographer and producer Niza Laksamana shared how the new Alpha camera performed in broad daylight without overheating and brilliantly performs in low light. If you haven't, I suggest you watch it after this episode. Now, on to our next industry expert. He is a director and cinematographer with experience in the industry that spans almost two decades. He has shot numerous full-length films as a cinematographer and is well known for his television and commercial work. Let us welcome one of the most respected cinematographers in the country and Sony Alpha professional, Mr. J.A. Tadena. Hi, my name is Jay Tadena, and I am a director and a cinematographer. And most of my work is in advertising, and I've done probably about a dozen full-length feature films as a cinematographer. So I decided to work with the dancer for this video because of the movements, and I, I thought that you know it it's something that the camera, which the A7S III, can utilize and you know take advantage of because of the size autofocus function and the low light capability of this camera was just great you know for this video you know most of it I would say probably 80% of the video was shot with available light and I'm really amazed with how um, the camera performed and you know basically we just didn't even have to light it and we were working on an empty um, floor of an old building and the only light source we had were, were windows which we had to rely on and it's just crazy how this camera performs in low light and these kind of conditions there were just a couple of scenes that we had to light of course we had a scene in, in a bathroom which i wanted to start the video with a girl thinking about you know just having doubts of herself we just had battery operated lights to, to, to do that scene and this was just you know with a with a 24 inch tube and you know just one battery operated LED and we were able to mount the shoot with, with A7S3. To give you a background of it, it's it's really a no budget video. It's it's it, it's only made possible because of the help of um, you know just a few friends. And I got this dancer who, you know, I've been following for a while and I, I thought she would be perfect for this um, video. With the help of Sony providing me with, with the camera, the A7S III and the lenses, you know, um, we were able to mount this shoot with, you know, you know just a team of um, less than 10 people. And we just shot this probably like around um, uh, five hours or five to six hours including the whole setup and you know all the ingress and even the makeup and lunch breaks. The autofocus function performed really well. Um, it was crazy how it was able to trap the eyes and the face and I've never seen anything perform like that ever and it's crazy how it, it tracks you and it won't let go. Although in this film um, you'll see a lot of blurry shots which I, it was really intentionally made to be there um, because I love really putting those happy mistakes and you know those organic soft focus shots in you know in, as part of the treatment. You know the times where we needed autofocus to work was perfect, and you know you'll see a lot of demos of that you know um, online or wherever, and and you know that's one of my favorite functions of this camera. One thing that I really liked about this camera also is, is the, the much improved color information which was really a breeze for me um, in color grading and I was able to manipulate colors much easier and be able to bring back skin tones much much faster and obviously of course again as I said the dynamic range is, is, is so good that you know I'm, it's able to handle you know highlights and shadows much better. So for me, this is really a camera where, you know, I think it's going to be part of my gear list and I'm going to be bringing it a lot, you know, for sure. So I hope you're going to like the video that we're going to show you. This is shot mainly with the A7S III cameras and of course with the Sony lenses. Um, we hope you like it. Um, enjoy.
Wow! Brilliant work, J.A. That very expressive dance video was just jaw-dropping. I'm immensely impressed with how the A7S III performs in available and minimal light, not to mention that outstanding stabilization. For those of you who are excited to get your hands on the new Alpha 7S III, the pre-order special is ongoing until October 18th. Grab this special offer now and get as much as 30,000 pesos worth of freebies. Scan the QR code below or click the link below to purchase. If you just tuned in, welcome to the second episode of the Sony Alpha 7S III hands-on review series. Now, to be answered by our industry expert, here are some questions submitted by the online communities about the Alpha 7S III. Hi guys. So we're gonna go over some questions from the Sony community and I'm just gonna read them through my iPad and so we're gonna go over question number one. Can I use the camera screen while outputting video over HDMI? Yes, you can um, use the camera screen while outputting video on an external monitor. You just have to get the settings right. Um, you just go to the menu of your LCD screen of your A7S III and make sure you go to the setup button which looks like a yellow toolbox and you go to the external output settings and make sure that your HDMI info display is turned off. When you turn off, um, you're gonna get two displays simultaneously. And if that, when that is turned on, you only get a display on your external monitor. So you're also able to choose um, the resolution of your output. Now that depends, of course, on your external monitor. So there are three choices. I believe um, you, you're able to choose between um, 2160p, 1080p, or 1080i, or you can just leave it on auto, and you know the the A7S3 is just gonna gonna be um, it's gonna do it automatically to set the resolution of your output. I hope that helps. So we're gonna answer question number two, which is coming from an A7S2 user. What features do you like most, or you find most useful from using an A7 from using the A7S3? Well, both are really great cameras. Um, I've had my A7S II for, for quite a while now, but the A7S III, when I used it for, for my video, for this dance video that I did, is just, I, I was really blown away by the autofocus function, which I've, I've kept on mentioning on, on this video. Um, it, it's just that, I mean, suddenly I realized you, there's really no need for a, for a focus puller sometimes because especially I was working on 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 wider openings like a 1.8 or 2 and um, I would just you know it, it's as simple as just pressing on on the face or the eyes and the focus will just lock in and I've tried it I've tried it just really going close and going far from the from the subject or the face and it just really locks in and I, I love that feature and it's it's just amazing to have that especially if you're shooting alone if you're doing a run and gun shoot and if you're doing um, um, you know critical focus shoots if you're shooting a baby or if you're shooting a you know um, you know something that you know needs that you're shooting with a wide opening that has just really minimal depth of field it just really locks in and, and it's amazing how this camera can do that. Um, another feature that I love, of course, is the, is the night, this is the, it's a low light performance and, and people keep saying that with the A7S um, cameras and the A7S III has even improved it. Um, you know, I've, um, we've, I've, I've pushed it as far as, you know, um, not for this video, but for tests, I've done like, um, you know, 12,816, 16,000 ISO and they're, they're pretty much really usable and um, you know I've, I'm about to do more tests on higher ISO soon and so that's one thing that's really excited me with this camera and I think it's just an amazing switch I mean an amazing upgrade from the A7S II. So number three question is what tips can you give in creating short films while maximizing the A7S III? Well, you know, um, I, I, I used to, you know, when I shoot commercials or films, you know, I, I, I used to use a lot of big cameras, bulky ones. And what's amazing about the A7S III is, is the size. 
the size and and the features that you can get out from it the quality the and everything that's just packed into this 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 handy camera which is which is something that you can really utilize for shooting short films i think that's why I chose to shoot a dancer is because I was really excited about the mobility of the camera it's that you can you can you know it, you can easily carry it you know with big cameras you know you need a team you need more people to carry the camera you need um, people to help you um, change lenses and stuff like that it, it, it's just it just slows you down a lot with the a7s3 you know you just feel like you can move you can bring it anywhere you can shoot um, you know you can shoot some guerrilla type of filmmaking just shoot anywhere and just hide the camera I'm not encouraging that but it's 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 really something that that that, that, that the camera has an advantage of and um, size is, is, is really a big factor for me with this camera and um, of course again um, utilizing it you can really shoot with this camera alone um, you know again I, I keep mentioning the, the focus you know you can just rely on the autofocus and not have another person with you and these are the biggest advantage of this camera plus the quality is really I mean you can go as cinematic or as colorful as you want and you can push it out of this camera especially with the with the um, 10 bit 422 um, uh, um, feature now of the camera you, you know it's much much um, better especially in terms of color grading it in terms of color information itself you know you have much more in this camera and and it's really exciting to use them I can't I re really can't wait to use it for more projects and I'm, I'm just excited to create more content with it And that wraps up our second hands-on review of the new Alpha 7 S 3 Stay tuned, stay safe, and see you on our next episode. Alpha.